Good afternoon, welcome to our homestead. Preserving wood is very important, especially on a homestead. There are many projects around here that require wood to last a long period of time, and wood is expensive nowadays. There are wood posts for your garden fencing and fencing around your property. Of course, there's siding like on this small garden shed. And then of course, there are the beds of your trailers, which carry a lot of load. So they need to be preserved really well and maintained that way. Because if this rots out and you try to pull your tractor up here, you're gonna have a problem. So today I'm gonna talk about how to make an old fashioned wood stain from two things. And those two things are used motor oil and diesel fuel. Since I know a lot of people are going to ask, let me address the environmental issue first. If you wanna skip ahead of that to the treatment, just go to the time code listed here. First thing is the used motor oil. Now everybody gets bent out of shape when using petroleum products on things, but we are downcycling this. We are reusing it. We can't use it in the vehicle anymore, so we're finding a way to repurpose it. And then of course the diesel fuel is a petroleum product, but let me talk about the stains and sealers that you buy in the big box stores or anywhere else and what they are made up of. Those stains and sealants are made of petroleum distillants. They also have formaldehyde in it, which is not great. They've got alcohols in them. They've got sodium hydroxide. They've got something called glycol ethers. And then also they've got something that's pretty nasty and that's benzene. So I would rather reuse something, my old motor oil, here on my property to preserve all the wood that I need to. Now that that's out of the way, let me show you the ratio of each ingredient that we use in our homemade wood stain. Now this ratio is gonna vary for everybody depending on what weight oil you use. So it might be a little thicker or thinner, it depends. You're gonna to have to experiment to see what works for you the best. Most people do a 50-50 mixture of motor oil to diesel. But for us, personally, we want it a little bit thicker, and that will give us a darker color. So obviously, the thinner you have it, the lighter the color will be. If you use strictly all diesel, then you'll kind of have a yellowish hue to it. But ours is going to be fairly dark brown because we are going to use two-thirds oil to one-third diesel. You just need an old bucket like this and measure things out the best you can. The best tool in my opinion is this cotton headed mop right here. We've got a new one for this job, but you can also use a paint roller if you like. But first things first, we need to clean off our deck. Now you can have a little bit of dirt on there, but we do haul compost on this and it kind of gets caked on. So we need to get that off. I'm actually going to alternate back and forth between this leaf blower so I can get off all the loose debris and this broom so I can get the stuff that's stuck on just a little bit. Now keep in mind, for a trailer, you don't need to go as far as to power wash things and get the wood bare. That's not necessary, but if you wanna do it, you can. Also keep in mind, the thinner your mixture, the quicker it will soak in, and you will need to do two coats. I usually do two coats regardless of the thickness of my mixture. And you're going to want to wait at least 30 minutes in between each coat. Now let me show you how to apply this. After that, I'm going to talk about two different things. One, how long this is going to last for you. And two, I'm gonna show you another method of preserving wood, but it doesn't work for trailers. And I've showed this method on my channel before, but it's been a few years, so I'm gonna talk about it again. All right. I'm just gonna put our mop down in our diesel and oil mixture and get it on the deck. We're gonna start mopping back and forth. Now, if you come across an area that has a deeper depression or a deep scratch, let me show you what to do. So if you've got a deep knot like this, I've got a lot of deep knots that have kind of popped out, so it's a deep depression. I'm gonna to need to spend some time here and really get that mop to go down into that depression, whether it's a scratch or a knot hole, whatever it is, and really get a good amount of the stain down in there. Make sure you really get around those edges too, so you don't have rot where you've got your metal touching your wood. So this is a 20 foot trailer, and once we're finished, I'm gonna tell you exactly 
how much diesel we used and how much used motor oil. Like I said, make sure when you get to the edges that you really get it in that edge because water does sit in inside of these channels, these channels that metal channels that hold on the trailer boards and it can rot there quicker than many places. For this 20 foot trailer, we used six quarts of used motor oil and two quarts of diesel. So it wasn't 100% free, but it cost us maybe around two bucks. And I reused something that is hard to recycle. Now with the two coats on the wood, this should last you about two years. A lot of people will spray diesel fuel on the underside of the boards for added extra protection. And that's cool, but I've never found any rot that comes from underneath unless you're constantly driving in the rain. I take it out about once or twice a week to go get supplies like lumber or loads of compost, whatever it might be. But other than that, it's not on the road every single day. If yours is on the road every day, you might want to treat underneath, especially if it's been raining like it has in East Texas this past two months. Now let me show you that other method that I mentioned earlier. So this is our small garden shed, and I treated this wood with a Japanese wood burning technique called shosugiban. If you want to know all the details of that technique, click on this link right here. Basically what the burning of the wood does is close up the wood fibers. So it is resistant to insects eating it and rot and weathering, all the above. It's basically all you need to preserve this. And you can see this technique here is the deep char method. I love it. This, I haven't done anything with. It's starting to come off a little bit right here, but I haven't done anything with this in four or five years. The only reason you can't use this technique on the trailer bed is because of the abrasiveness of walking on the trailer bed. This is only really for siding. But this isn't what today's video is about, so go check out my other video. We also used the same mixture to treat the bottom of our fence posts before we put them in the ground. Even though they're treated wood, they're gonna last a long time, but they're gonna last even longer if we treat it with this. And you can use this as a stain for exterior siding as well. If you've got bare wood, this is more than adequate to protect it from the elements. But you will need to treat it more often than if you painted it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments section below. Now go click on this video right here, which shows you how to convert that chicken run behind us into a chicken tractor. Have a beautiful blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye.